actually boosted. Now deciding now's the time to go in. That Nano's over, but they've lost their Ana, but it's now that way for both sides. It looks like a defense is actually making their way back around here. The Nano could let Worthy be able to get some damage done, but the Freeze comes through onto him. They're trying to put in so much damage. They eventually get him. Dr. Smile's going down as well, and now they get to push forward and take back this card. Vega gets the boop on the Dr. Smile going down pretty soon after that. Rakusu also being down now. But the Blizzard coming through is absolutely massive. Able to pick up four players in that. And the Fire Strike able to pick up two. It's a two for one deal as they get the move forward. Right now the bomb coming through. Worthy not anywhere near it. And the Shatter comes through as well to secure the kill onto Worthy. And now Dr. Smiles as well. They get to the move forward now. They're down their speed boost. They're down their Rhine. The anchor they need and the speed they need to get out is going to be able to pick up a few more kills because they don't have those. Rekusu picking up so many in that fight. But now there's going to be a huge fight over point three. Yeah, I mean, they lost that on Vega really quickly. They have that sound barrier, which could be so good for them right about now. But speaking of so good for them right now, the Blizzard has been eaten again by Alias. And now it looks like they do stand a chance in holding this point. Nobody can get on the cart in time with a little less than a meter. They had to back away. We now see that Rekusu has switched to Farah to try to penetrate that defense, um, kind of get over all of the opposing um, damage and uh, heroes. Yeah, but it's going to be difficult for them as a Rex to get the boop off on the Dr. Smiles. The Freeze coming through on the Jaden right now. They aren't going to be able to use that ultimate that they wanted to right there. And the offense finally going to be able to get this cart moving. Oh, the bomb coming through from both sides right now. Magic looks like they're going to be the only one to go down to any of those bombs. But the Blizzard right now able to also pick up the other tank and Worthy. So this offense, which had a little bit of a slower start, is going to mean about the same, a uh, little less of time bank uh, that University of Akron did on their offense. It looks really even right now. They're pushing up really far, and that's going to give them an advantage. They're going to get a lot of ult charge off oh. this Diva tank, so they could stagger her a huge amount. Looks like it's going to be able to freeze a few here as they move forward. They're able to get the Reinhardt and the uh, Brig, but as I say that, Arekusu is going to be able to go back and get Jaden. They're able to get Dr. Smiles and stun it. Make that a 3k right now for Arekusu going down only to the Hammer of Worthy. And now Worthy with a Shatter coming through here. This could be big, but the Sleep is able to stop them from getting the pin onto T-Boogie. Oh my god, the defense has to get there. Akron has to contest. They've switched to the ball to do that. And there's a Blizzard going to come on the point, though, despite their recontesting. Yeah, the Blizzard coming through on the point. It's going to make Worthy go down pretty fast. And now Stunning following behind. The Diva Bomb comes out, able to pick up Jaden. It looks like they're going to be able on this offense to make it happen. And they doing as much as they can to get them down. A Rekusu getting another with the Pulse Bomb. So, all in all, pretty good attack from actually boosted. Both of these tanks here, though, with their Lucio. So, I don't think there's going to be much able to happen here now as Magic gets DMAC. Worthy's out of the fight in the first point, or the first start of capturing is going to be going to the side of actually boosted. The Shatter comes through, only really able to pick the Diva, I think, on Alias. But the Shatter coming through on the other side, able to pick up a few more. The Bomb going down. The High Noon able to pick up two from Arekusu. And it looks like this team fight is going to be over. With one HP because of that anti-nade, both the Rhines being down. But I think it's already too little too late for the uh, uh, University of Akron to try to take this back here. Jaden getting an anti-nade on them. Arekusu just going in there, doing so much damage. And actually able to take out Midtown Man before they jump off and sacrifice themselves in the water. I'm surprised that they're not trying to switch it up and trying to counter. But it's, you know, same team comp mirrored on both sides. And currently, it's pretty, it's currently pretty even on the point. Yeah, both these teams able to read the Ryan Shatters, but Arekusu being able to pick up the two kills with the Blizzard coming through as well. Really just going to force players out of that position and not pick up anybody. But as we are talking about picking up people, Arekusu looks like they're able to pick up four, I think, during this fight. And the High Noon as well, able to secure magic. That's a 5k, I believe, for Arekusu. Now they get to capture this point with 100%. But the DMAC coming out of magic could be crucial in this. They're not going to be able to block a lot of that damage that comes through, even though if they were able to block some of that damage. Actually, the Nano going on to Arekusu doesn't look like it's going to see anything quite yet. The Shatter coming through. It's going to be able to actually take out Stun Ape Worthy going down as well. So it looks like another team fight went for actually boosted now as it's taking up to almost 70%. They can hold this if they don't overcommit. And right now it looks like the Blizzard that's come through here is going to demech magic. So they're going to go ahead and try to use their ultimate to remech, but they won't be able to. T-Boogie able to pick up two kills despite Worthy getting that kill on the Vega. It doesn't look like it's going to be a team fight when it's more fault for the side of University of Akron, but they have to touch. It's overtime right now. Worthy just trying to stay on that point for as long as possible. They have so many alts, but they weren't able to use it because of so many good picks, the Blizzard and everything going through there. So that's another map going to the side of Actually Boosted. T-Boogie is really close to that Blizzard. Gonna have it now. So are they gonna decide to use it in this fight as they move forward or do they use the Nano to begin with? I think it's gonna be the real question as they move forward here. 
a good few swings and a flashback comes through and everybody going down the constant and the high noon and jay not able to find anything worthy actually going to be the one going down and the shatter as well able to pick up wow. three it looks like they just get to run forward now everybody on the ground not able to do anything to stop them from rolling through and taking out the rest of the team but with the time going down here magic has to run up to the point they're able to touch in time the bomb is up in the air it looks like it's not going to be able to pick off anybody jaden was able to go bigger though the blizzard on the point it's going to make it hard for this offense to get in here and they Dang. can't get on there in time it's looking pretty even in this team fight, but as I say that, actually boosted looks like they're getting the upper hand now, and they do have the closer spawn, so it will be harder for them to continue here. Whether or not they decide to go in for another defense, doesn't look like they're gonna try to stall it out. They have to give up that point. I think what they're really just gonna try to do here is hold this next little archway. It looks like they're gonna be able to make all the picks needed to continue forward. Midtown man being the only one left on car here, trying to die as fast as possible, so that way they have a chance to go at it for another team fight, which I believe they will. I don't even know if they're going to be able to contest right now with that Maywall. Yeah, all eyes on Worthy right now, but as I say that, he used his Shedder, not able to find anything with it. The Fire Strike coming through from Constant, able to pick up two with that, make that a third player. Now it looks like that the time is finally up for the University of Akron, and they're able to cap it here. Actually boosted, able to take the 3-0 in today's match. That was an amazing performance from Actually Boosted. I haven't cast them before. I haven't seen them play uh, live. So amazing to see their coordination and some of the things they can pull off that they make it look so easy.